In an interview last week on PBS, the defense chief, Robert Gates, was asked how many American troops he thought might still be in Iraq three plus years from now. Remember, the status of forces agreement just signed by Bush and the Iraqi government says that U.S. troops will be gone from Iraq entirely in three years. Nevertheless, Bob Gates said he thought there would be a residual force of U.S. troops in Iraq more than three years from now that numbered in the several tens of thousands. Several tens of thousands of U.S. troops indefinitely staying in Iraq, even beyond the country-to-country -country agreement we just signed with Iraq that says we'll leave? Boy, you know, if you are one of the 70% of Americans who wants U.S. troops out of Iraq on that 16-month timetable that Obama promised, I bet you are glad about this election we just had, huh? Getting rid of that old administration that sees several tens of thousands of American troops indefinitely in Iraq for years. Wow, good thing we are saying goodbye to George W. Bush's Defense Secretary, Bob Gates. And now we're saying hello to Barack Obama's Defense Secretary, Bob Gates. Hmm. The Gates pronouncement about residual forces last week was followed by a report in the New York Times today that the U.S. may try to get around the just signed requirement that U.S. combat troops be out of Iraqi cities by June of next year by massaging the meaning of the word combat. You ready? Quote, military planners are now quietly acknowledging that many troops will stay behind as renamed trainers and advisors in what are effectively combat roles. In other words, they will still be engaged in combat just called something else. So, Iraq withdrawal? Not really a withdrawal. And as for Afghanistan? Well, there's not even a semantic pretense of withdrawal plans there. A massive U.S. troop buildup is in the works, according to the Associated Press today. Quote, all told, the U.S. could nearly double its troop levels there to as many as 60,000, sending up to four combat brigades and thousands of support forces within the next year. So let's recap here. Not withdrawal in Iraq, potentially doubling forces in Afghanistan. Oh, and there's also that escalating as yet undeclared war in Pakistan, where officials claim another U.S. drone killed at least seven people today. Okay, so here's my worry. Didn't Osama bin Laden say that his plan was to bleed America to the point of bankruptcy? Aren't occupied Muslim countries sort of their best recruiting tactic ever? And didn't the bleed until bankruptcy plan kind of work against the Soviet Union? In Afghanistan, bog them down indefinitely, like we seem to be in Iraq and Afghanistan?